Looking out the back doors, I've got the blackout reflectix on it. It's painted black on one side. Um, I actually marked them because they are different and they only fit one way. So I got right rear, left rear. And then the ones up here are different sizes, so it's kind of easy to tell which window they go on. Um, anyways, so you got the back doors and the blackouts. This cabinet right here has basically the whole entire solar system in it. It's a 300 watt lithium battery, a Renogy MPP T DC to DC 50 amp controller. And I have the Renogy monitor plus a battery monitor right there. That hole is actually for the solar panel cutout switch that I haven't finished wiring yet. So the one for the battery is down there. I don't have it permanently mounted yet, but it is there. That switch will totally disconnect the battery from everything. And you can see next to it is a fan. And if I come over to here, what I call my power tower, <laughs> um, I've got 220 volt outlets, two USB. There's the Renogy uh, inverter switch, a bunch of solar power uh, QC3 and PD plugs. There's two or three in each one. And that's not all. On the back of it, I have another 120 volt outlet up here with two QC3 plugs. And I also have a cigarette lighter, a switch, and another uh, USB plug there. Uh, the reason why that the cigarette lighter is back here is so that the uh, tire inflation pump can reach the rear wheels easily and then there's another one up here on a five gang switch that I can plug into in order to get to the front tires plus I have the two factory ones which since I'm up here I'll get and show these to you because I think these are pretty cool I got these dummy buttons so one says eject the other one says fire missile because you know fun while you're driving I did something a little bit different than most people instead of building a bed I bought a futon a cheap futon from Walmart and this thing's actually pretty comfortable and the reason why I did that was wood is heavy and the frame of this is pretty lightweight, so I kind of did it to save some weight. Right now it's in, obviously, couch mode. Um, all the bedding I store in this back storage area that was actually originally in the factory. But I kind of like changed it up a little bit. And uh, work, it really holds a lot of stuff. Then next to that, I've kind of got a space there. I just kind of have a cutting board stuck up there for right now. Um, then I have an extra seven gallon water tank and a five gallon shower. And the hose for that is in this drawer or in this door. I guess I could like move this stuff and show you, but it's going to make this kind of video probably longer. I'm using basically flat bungee straps. See how these are flat instead of round to hold because even though these are soft close drawers and soft close door hinges, they still, when they got weight in them, they'll try to open up on you. So I basically put two hooks, one at the top, one at the bottom, and then I run these flat straps and that keeps them shut when you're driving. And I kind of also did the same thing to hold these tanks so they wasn't back here moving around and stuff. There are all kinds of videos on YouTube on how to build this. Um, 
I did a video. Maybe I will or won't post it. I, I still need to solder and actually uh, finish this up. But I need to solder these two connections and put some shrink tubing on it. So, uh, like I said, the van's not entirely done yet, but it's close enough. Right now, I've actually got my GoPro batteries on the charger. Uh, I, I took, and when I was driving here, all my GoPro batteries were dead. So I plugged it into the charger, and then I just stuck this in the gas stove so it couldn't, like, flop around and stuff and it worked out pretty good the cord's kind of long um all everything in this van is on a switch there's switches up here i'll kind of show you here in a minute so i can turn off all of these outlets here by a switch up there that's marked usb and the one thing i was going to show you kind of the reason why i went to the power tower next is if you notice down where that close to the floor there looks like a fan and over here is the switch for the Renogy controller so when I turn that on you'll hear a fan come on down there and then when I shut it off the fan goes out now I did that there's actually two fans there's one there but there's also another one out here and basically, the reason why I did that is the batteries and all this solar gear that's in this cabinet is kind of L-shaped. Because some of the solar is along the wall, some of it's kind of along this way. They have space requirements. And when I built the cabinet, which was really the only space I had to put the solar with the bed and stuff only had a certain size you know I couldn't make the cabinet bigger than what I had available and I really wanted the solar to be in this location so because the space is so tight what I did was I put ventilation at the bottom it, it actually this one sucks air in and that one sucks air in and then if you notice on this side this is open And I did that to let the heat out. So it sucks in cold air from the bottom. Heat rises. It'll go out through the top. There we go. That solved that problem. I have basically... Um, I don't know how many feet that is. About 8 feet of countertop space on this side. Excluding where the stove is at. It's a 2 burner propane stove. The tanks for the stove are underneath, accessible via this door. I keep the tank turned off, so when I need to use the stove, turn the tank on, turn the burner on, light the burner. Perfect. Um, these two straps here I actually put on these upper futon parts. So I put that there, and then I'll hook the other one up on this end. Like this and then join them in the center let me set this down let me make sure you can see yeah so I basically put these two straps on and then I just hook them in the center like this that keeps the straps from falling or that keeps the cushions from falling forward when you're going down the road I don't know why that drove me crazy before I did those straps like that like I would take off to test drive the van for whatever reason and not have the straps on there and then when I would stop like the the cushions would either be completely off the futon or they'd be folded over it drove me crazy so slick solution for that and it works great all right so I got all the bedding up here right now if I needed more storage I could actually leave the bedding on the futon even though it's in couch mode and it'll work great this is kind of something neat. Um, I put a security system on the van. I can, I basically have a 360 degree view all the way around the van with all the doors shut, with all the blackouts on and everything. Let me kind of show you.
There you go. You can see all the way. You can see out the back doors. You can see out the front. So the top left is looking out the front. The top right is looking out the back. Um, the bottom left is looking out the left side. The bottom right is looking out the right side. You can see I got the door open there. So a uh, pretty slick little system and it uses hardly no battery. This thing has been running for like four weeks in the van non-stop while sitting at my house and while I'm working on it. Mostly because I want to see um, how many days of video I can record before the cards get full. And the cards haven't gotten full yet, so four weeks. That'd be 28 days, give or take. Down here, I have an MP3 player. There's a also in one of these drawers, and I don't remember which one exactly because I haven't gotten used to the way everything's laid out yet. And it may not stay that way, but in one of these drawers, there's an MP3 Bluetooth speaker. This is the remote here for this. I could actually control it from somewhere else. Um, this security system will also support two displays. I've been thinking about putting a display up in the front cab area, but I'm not sure yet. This is actually for the fan. I'm sure everybody's seen these fans. Well, like I was telling you, I have everything on a switch. So, USB switch, fan switch. I just heard it like beep when I did that, so, yep. This has so much air. It is crazy. I believe it's the Max Air 4500. Pretty slick. Don't really need any airflow with the uh, windows or the doors open the way I've got them right now. There's plenty of airflow. There's actually a creek down there and it's down in the valley. So what happens is the air is coming off that creek and blowing through the van and right out that door. It's actually pretty cool in here today. All right. This remote is actually for the front. Uh heads up radio display that also has a DVD player built into it. So it'll do videos. It'll take and stream. It's uh, Android and Apple compatible. So whatever's on your phone screen, it'll display it. You can see in the top, maybe you can't really see. There's actually a DVD slot right there. It'll play movies. Pretty slick. Um, the other cool thing, this other remote is actually for the mood lights. So again, mood lights. And the mood lights up here also will take you to The mood lights up here will also take you to there's another storage area in the front and I kind of left it right now. I've got like some backpacking gear in there. Some tools are back way back in there like tools. You hope you never need, but you got them if you need them in case the van breaks down, you have a flat tire, that sort of thing. Uh, backpack with enough gear in it to go hike for as long as you wanted to really. I've got a two-person tent in there, but I have my Z-Pax Hexamid Solo Plus also. Um, Cuban fiber, super lightweight. But uh, the mood lights will do literally just all kinds of... There's a, a gazillion programs on here, and they will also beat to the music played by either your phone or the mp3 player so you just take your choice and if you want it to beat the music it will see that's the so the switches i have up here i actually have one spare that's the security system this one is for the mood lights this one is for the fan that one's for the usb and really since this is charged i could go ahead and unplug this now 
and shut it off. Um, then I also have one final one, which is a dimmable switch. Like every van's got, you see them in every video, but flip the switch on, turn the dimmer up, down. These are super bright. You have no idea how bright these are. There's actually like, um, I've got six back here. And I, I literally thought about putting another one, maybe here, and two more down here. Um, I'm still on the fence whether or not I'm actually going to do that or not. Um, so anyways, on the other side of these cans, down here is actually a portable toilet and also the hose for the shower. And then this drawer here has like toilet paper and kind of like personal hygiene type stuff in it. Toilet paper, paper towels, personal hygiene. This one has um, some towels and some dry food. This one down here has like all of my cooking stuff. So it has a instant pot, plates, bowls, magma, pans, cups, that sort of thing. I think I've also got like some dry food stuff in here too. This here has like eating utensils, measuring spoons, that sort of thing. Um, there's a board right here and eventually I'm going to do like the mason jar seasoning, which will have it close to the stove. And the reason why I haven't started on it yet, the board is probably about two or three feet long. And the problem is I cook a lot at my house. I probably have 40 or 50 kinds of seasoning. And I have to figure out how to cut that down to a lot less types of seasoning. And, you know, there are, like, if you look at the things I cook a lot with, which would be, like, red peppers, chili, pepper, garlic, um, oregano, you know, there's just so many different things, but I can't make them all fit there. I literally thought about make maybe doing something on this door on the inside. I guess I could show this up to you. So yeah, there's like also a couple some instant pot accessories are also in here. But these uh the plates and stuff that I got they're pretty cool. They come with these like they're made out of wheat. They come with like eating utensils. And, and they're made out of wheat, and they're actually strong. Like, you can't believe how strong they are. And even, like, the little butter knife is just... You could probably cut steak with it if it was cooked in an Instant Pot, for sure. I mean, they're... They're pretty crazy. Um, I just thought it was kind of cool how they're all, like, individually packaged. So, uh... Then here, like I said, there's like where I have trash, the uh, propane tank, and then there's another door on the outside that goes to the water and that sort of stuff. The water and the drain tank. So the sink, I've got the manual faucet. I know a lot of people complain about this, but as a long distance hiker, I can tell you that you are happy to have water no matter how you get water. So, it will do fine for me. It's a Ruvati sink. 15 by 15. I think they're like 8 or 9 inches deep. Pretty nice sink. Uh, of course, the water works great.
then when that's down you can use it as like a put a laptop up here use it as a cutting board kind of like the same way with this like i don't know if you can see how much space there is this is a 15 inch laptop and i could literally put two of them on here so plenty of space um where the spice rack's at is actually going to form a shelf I have to get I have to pick up more of this. I actually have this all the way down this side too. I almost forgot. So you can store stuff in behind this. You know, it's not a whole lot of space, but it's maybe uh I don't know, eight eight or ten inches tall and four or five inches deep. So that runs all the way down on this side. Um these one, two, three, four drawers. I think they're 12 inches wide, 24 inches deep, and like 8 or 9 inches tall. They're like super, super deep. This cabinet goes all the way to the ceiling. Now, this top one, I don't mention it, or haven't mentioned it for a specific reason. It's mostly like where all the electronics is at. But I've also got a safe in there that's bolted down. And also, that's where the security camera DVR is at. So, eventually, I'm going to make it where this is locked better than just having, you know. <laughs> I'm actually going to make it where the door is locked. Probably in a way that's better, way better than the hinges and stuff I got. So, then I got the storage in the front. There's actually storage behind this seat. I've got quite a bit of gear. I got a second set of hiking gear and also all my camera gear in another bag down there. Uh, Canon camera bag, so it's like a day pack, maybe a 25 or 30 liter day pack. It's got all my camera gear in it. Um, blackout curtains that close. Um, they actually go all the way across. I still need to take and like, I've, I've got the hook and loop i'm gonna sew hook and loop where these two connect at so they can be stuck together if i wanted to and then i'm gonna do hook and loop on the sides also um there are some books down here like travel road atlas some traveling books my bible the book of mormons um, i have a refrigerator in between the front seats refrigerator or a freezer i keep it at 34 degrees this is a i think this is a 50 liter ice co 50 liter it's an older model um, but i got it because it come with the cover which i don't have on it right now it come with the cover and was like a hundred dollars cheaper or 150 dollars cheaper than the one that don't come with the cover same size so um it's worked great so far and it plugs into a cigarette lighter that's back here and then up at the front i've got this five gang switch now everything from this cabinet back runs on the house battery but this one runs on the start battery and the reason why is because it only has two things on it um, when I was driving this power seat my leg kept hitting a switch and the seat would move on me so I put it on a flip switch so once the seats adjusted I just shut it off don't have to worry about hitting the buttons when I'm driving so the first button here is for the power seat main power the second button is for my backup camera because before I got the security system Sometimes I would turn the backup camera on as I was driving down the road <laughs> and I still wanted to have that ability to do that. So my backup camera is hooked to that. But that also gives me an extra outlet, extra USBs and that sort of thing. Um, so that is pretty much the whole entire van. It's built a little different than most vans that I've seen. I think I got some pretty unique stuff. Security camera come back on monitor. So I think I got some pretty unique stuff. 
that you that I don't see in a lot of builds. But I have a lot of things that are not so unique. Oh, the other thing is too, um, you can actually use this as a seat if you wanted to. You can sit here and actually use that as a desk. And that wasn't intentional. I just found out once it was built, it worked out really well. Um, if you're short. And I'm short, so it works out pretty well for me. Um, but you could really technically do that anywhere. You could literally sit on the futon, have a laptop up here. Um, originally, I had planned to put some... Like a dinner table. And then work off of it. But the space is like so narrow i just decided not to because the counter's so close oh and one other thing i've got seven inch tall i think they're there's four of them underneath here but they're almost two feet long 23 inches long seven inches tall and whatever the width is storage cabinets uh actually it says 28 28 quart 23 and a half by 16 by 6. So that's what size there. There's four of those, which is where I keep like clothes and things. And also the front windshield reflectix is kept underneath the bed. And there's actually a little bit of room if I want to squash everything together. I can put another something down here on this end. So that's pretty much the whole van. The only thing I didn't show you was this door out here. little campground that I'm at that's where you get your water and your drain from I got them also with the bungee these bungee straps work really well I'm very really happy with the flat ones um, this one doesn't have the automatic closing doors um, it's just got a little like catch right there that keeps it closed out of all the van windows the only ones that open up are this one so uh, I kind of like extended this down farther than it needed to be so that way I could like tear it open some and then have like the window open that works out pretty good I got like some areas that kind of need trimmed out better and i just haven't gotten to it yet but yeah so that's my whole van <laughs>